How do you have great mechanics on the putting green, but when you go to the golf course, you tend to struggle on the greens? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. Today in this video, I'm gonna talk about why golfers feel that they might be mechanically sound on the putting green, but then go to the golf course and tend to struggle with their putting. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question that I received from Don. Don said, I'm a mid to high handicap golfer and I have problems putting. Mechanically, all seems fine, but when I get over the ball, things start to change. I start to question my mechanics and maybe focus too much on stroke. Do you have any ideas on why this happens for golfers? Yeah, Don, this is a very common issue that I see with golfers, not only with the putting, but also with the chipping and with the full shot, too. It just simply feels different for you mechanically when you go play under pressure, either in a money game or in a tournament, for example. Now, just the fact that you have great mechanics on the green, that's awesome. And you can make a lot of putts on the green. That's awesome, too. But what you have to find out is what's changing on the course. You said all of a sudden you're not really trusting those mechanics once you get on the golf course. So there's a couple of things that may be operating here. One is you might have the full-blown putting yips. If you're stabbing or jerking at the ball at impact, you feel like you're totally out of control and your mechanics get thrown out the window, then possibly you have the yips. The other issue is you may just have some tension, some competitive pressure that you're feeling when you go to the golf course, and thus you tend to focus more on the mechanical side. And often that's what golfers do is when the stuff hits the fan, they tend to get more mechanical with themselves because they think that's what's gonna help them hit a better putt or a better chip shot or a better full shot. So when you go to the golf course, you have to stop paying so much attention to stroke and the mechanics. Mechanics and stroke should stay on the putting green where you work on developing that muscle control, that what we call that motor memory. It's not muscle memory, it's motor memory, right? Because it resides in the brain. As you work on that motor memory, you develop a motor program for your putter and your putting. When you go to the golf course, you absolutely have to trust what you're doing. So therefore, how do you get out of that where you're starting to focus too much on the mechanics on the green? What I want you to do is I want you to trust that the mechanics are already good. They're not gonna improve by you focusing on them. You can focus on good tempo, that would be fine. But what I really want you to do is I want you to focus on the line of the putt, a spot, or a spot on the hole. If you're at five feet, for example, maybe you focus on right edge or inside right edge or center cut. And then just try and react and respond. Remember the stroke has to be a response to the image in your mind. And that image in your mind could be a feeling of what the putt's gonna do. It could be the speed at which you wanna roll the ball, or it could be a line or a spot. So really, on the course, get more target oriented or simply more feel oriented if you're more of a, what we call a kinesthetic learner and performer. So let go of the mechanics, certainly don't analyze the stroke and only focus on just your line or the pace of the putt. And that should really, really help. Thanks for the question. Good luck with your game. Hey, if you want some great tips about how to improve your putting, whether you get tense on the golf course or whether you have the full-blown putting yips, go to my website called puttingyips.com. I talk about the roots of putting yips and also give you some great tips about how to improve your putting. Thanks. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right-hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.